Hey vlog, today is Wednesday, January 18th, and today I read a quote this morning by Myron Golden, and I'm going to read it to you right now, and I'm going to read it because I'll never get it right if I don't just read it. So, it goes like this, if you want to become wealthy, then you have to find out what the top 5% of the people do financially and do the same thing. And you have to find out what the bottom 95% are doing financially. And whatever else you do, don't do what they do. Profound, right? Guys, that struck me so well that I went out and I made a big social media splash with it. I went and made uh, posts and made infographics with that quote on it because that statement is beyond true. If you are following people that are just like you, guess where you're going to be? In the same place you are today, 20 years from now. Sure, you can have your friends that you've known since high school or later, that's cool, but don't model their behavior. In fact, don't follow their behavior. What you need to do is find the wealthy people, the people that have the lifestyle that you are looking for and you want for yourself. No, no, you deserve for yourself. And you need to model what they are doing. Try and get into their social circles and socialize with them. There's another old saying that's been around. You are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Well, if you spend the most time with five poor people, you are going to be poor. So, instead of spending all your time with those people, try and find where the people that have the lifestyle that you want are hanging out and go hang out with them. Break into their circles. That way, you get into the crowd and you start seeing the life that you want because they're already living it. And then, once you're around them, you're going to elevate yourself up naturally. It's just going to happen. What they have and what they'll be doing is they'll be giving you tips here, there, and everywhere, just in normal conversation. The wealthy do not speak like the average person. You know, we're talking about uh, the sports game at the end of the day. They're talking about the stock market, the real estate market. They're talking about commodities and all of those things. So you need to listen to them. They will give you all the tips and the pointers that you can start with a small amount and grow quickly because you've got the right tips. You're in the group that you want. Same thing with being an influencer. You want, say, to work with the, a specific brand. Let's say, like uh, Nikon cameras. So, how do you get into the Nikon camera circuit? Certainly, you don't have much of a following. You're a small influencer, but you have a dream. You want to be there. Well, what do you do? You start making content about Nikon cameras, talking about how they are good, talking about the features, talking about how you use them, why you like them, and you do all of that now, and Nikon will notice. And before long, Nikon will be knocking on your door. Once you have got what they are, they know what you're looking for. If you're not making content for them and about them, they have no idea to come looking for you. Brand deals, they're great. They will raise you up quickly. However, <laughs> till you have around 50,000 subscribers, don't look for them to come knocking on your door because they're not. That seems to be about the mark where most brands start actually, you know, contacting people. Now you've got a following that's big enough for them to put a little money behind. Till then, you're not getting very far. But you get about 50,000 subscribers and then you'll start getting there. However, what brands are you going to attract at that point? Well, they're going to look at your content. The brands that are coming to you are going to look at your content. Do you fit with me? Particularly in the early stages. Is it content that uh, my product matches up with? Is it content that, uh, well, quite frankly, fits with our brand's values? These are all questions they're going to ask before they even contact you. And if the answer is no to any of those, bye-bye. They're not even going to bother you. So, how do you do it? You make content specifically for them. 
you find out and research their company. You talk about the values and the things that they value too. Then when you start showing up on their radar, they go through your content and they say, hey, this is somebody who likes our products, who praises us, who thinks we're doing good, who values the same things we do. Let's offer him a brand deal. It's that simple. But this is the be, do, have. Be who you want to be before you have it. You be the person you want to be. You do the things to do it, and then you have it. Be, do, have. You can't be the person after. It doesn't work the way. Have, be, do, or have, do, be doesn't work. It is, you have to be the person that you want to be. That way you do the things to have what you want. You can't have what you want if you don't do the things and you aren't and if you aren't the person that you need to be, you'll never do the things to have what you want. So it's always be, do, have in that order. Remember that. And the best way to get it is model those who are already doing exactly what you want and have the lifestyle that you want. It's so much easier that way. You can see exactly what they're doing. Just become friends with them and follow them and follow them as best as you can. Even if you can't talk with them, follow their social medias, follow their Instagram, their Facebook, their YouTube. You will get insights into their lives. Even if you can't really talk to them, you will get insights. Interact with them on their posts. Always comment, leave comments, like, and interact with them that way. Even if they don't reply back, you will be noticed, guaranteed. And before you know it, you might they will start actually interacting back with you. So you will be talking with them. You're following the lifestyle that you ha want instead of the lifestyle that you have. And don't follow what the rest of the people are that don't have the lifestyle that you want. Do not ever model that. Because guess what? 20 years later, you're going to be right where you started. No change at all. And I can offer you an easy way to get started helping out improve that lifestyle. It's my Road to YouTube five-day challenge. Totally free. The next one starts next Monday. Sign up with the link in the description below. And I'll be back tomorrow with another great video. See ya.